Hello everyone, Digfig here, and welcome. In this Borderlands 3 item overview, we are going to be going over the Kadijo, Kadjo, Kaji, Kadijo. I don't know what I'm saying that right. By the way, it's an alien SMG. Now, what does the alien barrel actually do for this thing? As far as I can tell, it just makes it shoot a little energy ball of whatever element you have it in. Pretty decent rate of fire, pretty decent travel time, but there's no other significant uh, changes to the gun as far as I can tell. Uh, it might do a slightly bit more damage than your typical elemental, but not really. Um, it's not the best alien weapon in the game, but we're going to showcase it anyways. Now, as for the way it looks, I mean, I really like all these alien barreled guns for the most part. I think this one's really cool, too, with this overhang, and I still love how it has the eyes under here, even though there's not as many, and they do open and close still, which is amazing. I love that all of these things move and flex. Just overall, again, I say it in every single one of these, I just think they did such a good job, and I love the energy effects down there. That's just so cool looking. But anyways, guys, now for my personal thoughts and overview on this thing, um... I don't think they're that great. Um, this is a times two one. Um, they do okay damage. Uh, up in Mayhem 3, it really, really suffered to do anything. Um, the times two one we're using here just chews through ammo like there's absolutely no tomorrow. Apparently, I'm stuck on a little guy here. Couldn't even see you down there, buddy. You're so tall and you're so short. But you can see what I mean by the whole rate of fire and the ammo size. You just spend so much time reloading on this thing. Um, the reload's not the longest in the game, but it's still, like, just uncomfortable the amount of damage you're putting out versus how often you have to reload. Um, and I think the rate of fire and stuff makes it so even on a, uh, bottomless mag Mose or anything like that, you're still just gonna shoot through all your ammo and not be able to maintain this thing. Um, they are slow-moving projectiles, which does make them hard to track your target. Um, they're not the slowest moving things in the world, so... It's doable, but like, occasionally you find yourself tracking it as if they're normal bullets and you just miss all of your shots. Um, let's see an armored guy here. This thing just, it really, really is underperforming here. Um, I know this is not the best thing to shoot these elementals with, but like I've done it with so many guns at this point where I can tell when something is just really underwhelming. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the point of these are other than just to add to the numbers of guns they can have. Um, it's cool in general. I do have multiple elements of this one. I can drop in all of them that I've seen, just like all the other alien guns. And if you're not doing Mayhem 3 and stuff, I mean, it's really fun to use. I think the uh, single fire ones, not the times 2 are funner and feel better. Because um, you don't have to reload anywhere near as often as this, and I feel like they can put out enough damage over time to maybe even make up for the times 2 and how often you have to reload this thing. Where you at, little buddy? Starting to run out of things to say and you're taking too long to die. There we go. But uh, yeah, like I just said, I did try and take it up against Grave Ward of Mayhem 3. Again, really didn't do anything. I don't have any footage of that and I don't plan on showing it because it's just super underwhelming. Definitely not a boss farming gun, that's for sure. Um, Fish is the humanoids. Does pretty good damage, same as all the other things. But again, true Ball Hunter mode, so... We can expect just about everything to be viable down here. It's really just me showing off the gun and how it plays and works. What you got, buddy? Um, if you guys know anything else about this gun or have a specific build you like to run these things in, or if I missed anything, please let me know in the comments because I would absolutely love to know. Now for my short overview, it's really fun to use uh, this one in particular after reload too much, but the single fire ones I really did enjoy playing with. Um, the damage is mediocre at best. I would not consider Mayhem 3 viable at all. Um, but overall, it's just kind of like a meh gun. I would save your bank space for something else. Um, if you have alt characters that you use as storage and stuff, maybe just keep them on hand in case something changes. You never know in this game. Radical shifts left and right, it happens. Now, if you're looking to get one of these for yourself, unfortunately, it's a world drop and you can get it from absolutely anywhere. Um, I do have quite a few of these, so I don't think the rarest of alien guns here, which is probably why they're not the best. But either ways, guys, it could just be RNG, and I hope you have good luck getting them if you want it. I really do appreciate you stopping by and checking out the video. It really does mean a lot. And if you like this video appearing above me here, there should be a playlist of a whole bunch of videos just like this one. And if you like some of those, thinking about like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification, watching all my videos front to back to help my analytics, and just being an awesome member of the community overall. And if you really like it all, I have another channel called Dig Figs Gaming where I do Let's Plays videos. There should be a thing appearing in the middle of the screen here in a second and you can check those out i will see you in the next video dig fig out my superhero mask don't judge me you fools